All right, so my name is Connor Clark. I come from good old Dixon, Illinois, uh, hometown of President Ronald Reagan, and this is my ghost story. Uh, back in high school, graduated 09, I worked at the Discount Movie Theater um, right off the main street. And uh, while I was working there, one of the more eccentric girls that, uh, that also worked there expressed a lot of her interest in the paranormal with me, and we eventually decided that we should start a paranormal club. So we did. And we got a group together and decided that we should um, spend the night at the movie theater, obviously. And uh, after, uh, after a movie one night, everybody left, we cleaned up, did our duties, locked the door, and then set up a couple cameras and just kind of started uh, hanging out and seeing what we could find. So, at first we went into, uh, into one of the theaters uh, that this girl had always thought she felt a presence in. So, she just kind of like leads me in there and uh, asks me to stand there for a little while and just tell her what I think that I feel. And after a couple moments of uh, standing there in silence and just trying to trying to see what's there, I, I tell her that it almost seems like there's this uh, large older black guy over on the right side of the room that uh, is just kind of standing there and staring. And she just turns pale as a sheet and walks out of the room uh, all of a sudden and uh, the other people in the other room see this and they, they ask me when I walk out like what what had happened what what we saw and I, I told her what I had thought and uh, they said that she had been telling him that same thing for weeks more importantly though at the end of our investigation everybody was kind of wrapping up, but most of my time at the theater when I worked there was spent uh, as a technician winding all the the 70 millimeter film through the machines since we were still running on the, the older style <laughs> machines, which is the best way to do it, by the way. And uh, so I was really comfortable up in that that hallway that overlooked all the theater spaces and so I, I wanted to finish my night up there where I spent most of my time anyways and shut all the lights off and just walked up and down a few times didn't really experience anything and uh, and knew that the end of the night was coming so I walked back to the entrance of the the hallway where the staircase led back down to the, the lobby and just as I was about to start walking down the stairs, I decided I'd give it, you know, just a few more seconds. So I stopped, I turned around, looked down the hallway, and I said out loud, because I normally when I ghost hunt, I don't really like to talk out loud to the ghost, because I'm, in my opinion, if a ghost is listening, they probably know what you want. So, uh, so I turn around and I say out loud anyways, um, you know, this is the last chance you've got to make contact with any of us here. Uh, and I'm, I'm leaving in 10 seconds, and then I'm gone. So I, I counted down 10, 9, 8, 7, and nothing's happening, so just keep counting in the darkness. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And just as I'm about to turn back down to the staircase, the projector down at the very end of the hallway just lights up. I mean, the whole the whole bulb is even shining on the ceiling. And this this machine in particular is broken. It uh it's the one out of four that doesn't turn on when you push the button. It doesn't um 
in order for us to get that machine to turn on, we have to um, spin the, the rack that the film is sitting on, hold a button on the bottom of the projector and push the little green go button all at the same time just to get that, that light to turn on on a normal basis in the day. And at the end of that hallway, it just lit right up for three seconds and then went out. And I ran my ass down those steps <laughs> and back into the lobby. And uh, that's my ghost story. <laughs>